So yo, we've got this pretty awesome equation, one over d object plus one over d image is one over d focal length, and this is the thin lens equation, and it's also the mirror equation. I'd like to investigate some special cases of it. First, let's consider, well, this is a nice special case. What if, I'll put all my what ifs up here. What if the object is located at twice the focal length? Get you three question marks right there. So you're thinking, well, then we get a picture like this, and there's a um, there's a lens, and there's a focal length here, and I want to put the object right there, and I guess I'll get a ray that goes straight through the middle, and I'll get another ray that comes in and goes out like this, and I'll get another ray that comes in and goes out like this, and we get this object that's right here, and we know that this is kind of the same distance at that in that special case, so hopefully we're gonna get that out of the math also. So I'll plug in 2f right here, and we'll see what happens. We'll do this one entirely in red. One over 2f plus one over di is one over f. Oh shoot, if this is one over 2f, and this is one over f, I suppose we sub could subtract one half one over f from both sides, like I'll just get one over di is one over two f. Well, that's cool. That means that di is two f, and we found that if the distance of the object is two f, then the distance of the image is also two f. That's nice, and it confirms what we already knew. Gosh, I hope I'm not wasting your time. We'll do another what if. What? If, oh, uh, what's next? What if I said the distance of the object is actually at the focal length? Dun, 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 dun. You deal with that, ha, ha, ha. Let's get ourselves a nice picture. What do we wanna do, blue? Okay, so I'm saying, well, let's do the math first. It's a little more fun. I'm gonna plug in F for right there. I get one over F plus one over DI is one over F. Uh-oh, if this side and that side are equal, then this had better not have much of a contribution. And the only thing I can divide one by to get exactly zero is infinity. So we're gonna say that the distance of the image is at infinity in that case. That would mean, let's see, I'll draw you a little picture of that. I got a lens right here and I got a focus and another focus. And I say I put my object right there, and when this hits the line of action, it's supposed to come out through the focus, right? Pew! Good, and this one's supposed to come out through the center of the lens, pew! And these two rays are supposed to be parallel forever and ever, meeting where? Oh, at infinity, where they never meet. They'll never get there. Sure they will, wait long enough. No, they'll never get there. All right, let's go green for the next one. Problem posed in black. What if, what if the distance of the object is in fact infinity? You're beginning to see some beautiful symmetries here, so maybe you can predict what's gonna happen. If the distance of the object is infinity, and we're using green for this particular problem, I'll say one over infinity plus one over di is one over f. Wait a second, one over infinity, that's just zero. So I'm saying one over di is one over f. That means that the image is located at the focal point, and I can draw you a little picture to demonstrate that. Lens, object, wait a second, object, I can't draw it in the picture, it's coming from infinity far that way. So I've got all these rays coming in here parallel, and if you've got parallel rays, they are going to meet where? At the focus, so of course the image is at the focus in that case. Yep, there it is, that's F. So this makes sense and is consistent. Oh, we need a blue smiley face over here because that made sense also. Let's do one final case, and this is maybe going to bother you the most. I really do hope to bother you a little bit. What if, what if the distance of the object is at zero? Wait a second, do you mean I get all up in that lens's face? Like uh, seafoam green-like? No, we could go pink. If I get all up in this lens's face, I'm saying that the distance the object is zero, I get one over zero plus one over the distance of the image is one over the focal length. If I'm gonna make this work out, this is, oh shoot. Well, we're gonna have to make a little bit of approximation, but this is just about infinity, and this would have to be pretty darn close to negative infinity for this to be some stupid number. So this needs to be about negative infinity. It's not gonna be exact, but it's approximately negative infinity. Wait a second, if I'm gonna make this negative infinity, I need to divide by negative zero. You deal with that. I'm gonna say that the distance of the image is approximately at negative zero. 
That means that the image is on the same size side of the lens as the object is, and it also means it's infinitesimally close to the line of action of the lens. But wait a second, so was my object. So drawing this is gonna be a little bit tricky, but it's kind of like, ooh, let's give it a try. I'm saying there's an object right here, and the image is also right here. When they're really close, then, uh, oh man, is the image gonna be upright? Yeah, I guess it's gonna be a virtual image. So if you're looking through a, uh, oh shoot, if you're looking through a converging lens, light's coming this direction, and it looks like it came from where it actually comes from. So it's almost like a plain piece of glass that you're looking through. Very interesting. So I need the object to be just barely on the same size side as the uh, image is, in fact. Well, that's all I've got to say about that. I like to look at the limits of an equation, and boy, we've done it there. Goodbye.